I have a political announcement. Actually, I have a comment on a political announcement. Last week, the federal government announced a proposal for a Canadian Renters Bill of Rights. And I thought about it and I just realized this Bill of Rights doesn't really do what I think it's aiming to do. In fact, I think it might even be hurting the middle class. So let's take a look at a couple of things that are in there. Number one, it suggested that landlords will be uh, required to disclose what their unit rented at previously. So what did it rent for last year, the year before, and the year before that? But the truth is that doesn't really help the renter who says, well, I only wanna pay $1,000 where that was rented last year and today's market rate is 1500. The truth is today's market rental rate is all that matters. The landlord is in the driver's seat with a lack of supply. Vacancy rates are at an all time low of 1.5%. So right now having that information doesn't really help the tenants. Uh, the second thing that the bill proposes to do is to have uh, regular lease payments that are being made go on to a tenant's credit report. The truth is many tenants have great credit and it's not their credit score that's preventing them from owning a home. The truth is with increased lease payments due to the fact that interest rates are higher, mortgage payments are higher, lease payments are up. In fact, they were up about 8% nationally in 2023. The truth is with rent payments being higher, that means little less room for savings there's going to take a lot longer time for tenants to save up for that deposit. And with housing prices rising, that deposit amount is getting larger and larger and larger. It's almost impossible for renters to catch up. So just my thoughts, is this bill really helping renters or is it hurting them or is it doing anything at all? I'd love to know what you think.